Hello. In this video, I will talk about what bracket is in Cat's Effect and how to use it. Let's imagine we have an API for uh, handling files. We have one function that will open a file on a block on a blocker, uh, which we talked about in the previous video. One function which will read from the file, it will read up to 4096 characters, and then it will close the file. Well, that's, that's a different function that will close the file uh, also on the blocker. So, uh, let's, let's try to do it in a naive way. First of all, I need to create my blocker. So now I can um, use the blocker to open the file. So I will open the file. Uh, I will import everything from files and open the file that I want to open with the blocker and then flat map that to um, the result of reading from the file. And then when this is done, I will also close the file. So this should work, right? This is the result of our latest run. I opened the file, I closed it, and then I printed the line in this part after the file was already closed. And this is fine until we have to handle exceptions. So what happens if our read operation fails if it throws an exception? Let's disable it for now and let's actually do that. So if I run the code now, we will see that the file is never closed. And this is simply because after the, the error was, was raised, there is no way I can run the rest of this computation. What happens here with this strange operator that you might not know is pretty much flat map the result of this to the result of this, uh, to the effect of this mapped to the previous result. And because this is, well, this is nothing, we obviously know this is not going to work, but this might as well be an IO of, of string. And still, this will not work. So the file was not closed, and now we know why. But what can we do to avoid this? We could do something like attempt, then close the file and refrow the result. That will surely do what we want. And yes, the file was closed. But there's one more situation that we need to handle. What if our code in here is cancelled? Let's imagine our uh, our operation now succeeds but it will take some more time so the whole thing will not be just read but let's say let's simulate the time by sleeping in three seconds So now th this will just take a while longer. But what if we time this out to two seconds? Obviously this cannot really work. The sleep itself was like more than the timeout. So this whole thing will surely fail. But we still want to close the file, right? And in theory, we could do this attempt outside so that even if, if this whole thing is um, fails because of the cancellation, we would close the file. But we no longer have the reader and there's no way for us to return it. 
So let's get back to this and let's see what happens now. So the file reader was opened, then we waited some time and failed, but the file reader was never closed. But there actually is a way to overcome that. We can use an operation called bracket. Bracket has two parameter lists. The first one defines how we use the resource, the reader in this case, and the second one defines how we release it. So now we need to move this disclose section somewhere else, so let me clean this up a bit. Now the cleanup section will be here. And even if I time, it, time out the whole thing, if, it, if, it, if the whole thing gets cancelled because of that, the file will still get closed. As you can see, we did close the file. And this is wonderful. Let's get back to the real use case so that the code is a bit simpler. So again, first you put the resource acquisition section, the, the I.O. that will create the resource or open the file or basically create the access point to, uh, to the resource. Then you say bracket, define how you are going to use this resource and then how you are going to close it. And once you have opened the resource, no matter what happens, it will be closed. Even if this fails, uh, gets cancelled, and obviously if it completes successfully, we will close the file as well. There are more operations uh, defined on the bracket type class, which is responsible for this bracket operation. This is defined straight on I.O., but you can do it on, uh, on anything that has a bracket instance. Uh, effect bracket so let's go there so we have more operations we have bracket case which allows us to see how exactly the file is being closed what's the reason has the computation succeeded has it failed or has it timed out has it been cancelled for whatever reason this is the basic bracket. And then we can use guarantee. Uh, this is quite similar to bracket. Basically what we what we can do with guarantee is say that if this IO runs, the other one also has to run. If I run this code, even if the the left side would fail, the right side would still run but we would get the result of the left side. Including cancellation. So this is the, the basic use of, of Bracket. Um, I hope you learned something today. So don't forget to subscribe and uh, tell me if you, if you want me to explain anything else. So thank you for your attention and uh, see you later.